NASA is developing a robotic explorer at Kennedy Space Center in Florida to track down water on the moon, Mars, or an asteroid. The hope is that water can be used by humans in the future to travel deep into the solar system. The machine NASA is working on is called Resolve for regolith and environment, science and oxygen, and lunar volatiles extraction. It is part drilling platform, part laboratory, mounted on a set of wheels. Armed with a drill and a suite of analytical devices, the robot's work may determine how astronauts will explore the solar system. After all, water can be used by people for everything from drinking supplies to producing rocket fuel. So instead of having to launch from Earth with all the supplies they would need, a human crew could go into space knowing that natural resources are already waiting for them. In its earthly form, the rover and its onboard instrumentation are about as tall as a person and weigh some 660 pounds. In its final configuration for the moon, the rover and its instruments will weigh about a third of that and be somewhat smaller since the moon's gravity is only one-sixth that of the Earth's. While the ultimate destination is the moon in the near term, the team of engineers at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida is focusing on a destination much closer to home. Mauna Kea, Hawaii. Turns out the lava-covered mountain soil is quite similar to that in the ancient volcanic plains on the moon. The team will take the rover to Hawaii and simulate a nine-day mission on the moon. Such testing is critical to show engineers weak points in the design so that they can be corrected prior to the actual mission. If the testing goes well, a flight model can be designed and launched into space later this decade.